What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Sengoku Yoko, this time with episode 9. Uh, looking forward to today, we had a pretty good episode for Shinsuke last time out, who's of course not my favourite character, but really like the developments we had with him uh, last week. We also met this mountain goddess here, who employed to... Tengu? And they got pretty swiftly dealt with <laughs> by the dragon guy and his apprentice, so... Yeah, they were just crazy. But it was only the apprentice, actually. The dragon guy didn't even do anything. But yeah, they got swiftly dealt with. But yeah, do let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date. Let's see what we got right here. Wake him up. Okay. Oh, yeah, I am pretty sure this is actually a dude. <laughs> Give him a big old slap. Well, it should be okay for, uh, What's his name? <laughs> Got bloody names now. I remember Shinsuke's. I was having trouble remembering Shinsuke's before the episode. <laughs> uh, should be alright for um. I forget his name. Fucking hell. Got Yoko Shinsuke. What's the dude's name? Jesus Christ. Apologies, guys. Jinka. Should be okay for Jinka. He's got some giant hands. To be fair, at his disposal. Oh yeah, I think this mountain goddess is actually a dude. Anime likes to do that kind of stuff. That's just sad, isn't it? A lovely smile from Shaku right there. <clears throat> Again, I really did not expect her to die so quickly, and I really wish she didn't, honestly. She's really nice, fun. Jesus. <laughs> She's a really nice and fun character, so big shame, honestly. So as I said, Tengu, usually they're quite, they're, they're reborn, right? That's what I got from Yugo. There's a card called Reborn Tengu. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's something about them like being reborn over again or something like that. This guy's look like ginger. <laughs> He's got like, it's kind of like, it looks a bit like ginger, but with loads of little like scythes and blades on it. Very unique. Okay, that sounds, yeah, that sounds better. So do I, actually. Two more. Kuzu no ha. So she sounds, Yoko sounds like she knows, she is a fox herself, so. Interesting.
Sorry, I've got like a bug bite on my hand, I think. I like a mum or something. <laughs> He has uh, heard that name before. It's her mom, isn't it? Yeah. But... <laughs> oh dear. Sounds very relatable, doesn't it, with Chinka and Yoko? How does that work then? Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess he's not her father, but she's got a different father. Yeah. And that's who we see at the end of the opening. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, yeah, go kill your mum. <laughs> Would you actually? It's a different thing saying that and actually doing it, I think. Sorry, guys. Again, I think I'll like, I'm gonna bug bite or something weird on me. Rinzu. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was quick. Quick as she fell in love, he got denied, unfortunately. Gonna fucking prank the dude. Oh, this sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, he shielded him. Just that. Right, well, this is not the kind of prank I was expecting, but could you even call this a prank? I'm sure, what kind of prank this is? Oh, it literally, is a tanuki. <laughs> I was expecting like. Push him in the water or something. <laughs> well, that was nice. <laughs> Very unnecessary, but it was pretty fun.
Oh yeah, we did hear about these fairy eyes last week, didn't we? Bit of a training arc. Boulder. Oh shit, he just he just got transported back to where we where Shaku died. That's literally where he just got Shinsuke got transported to. Is look at her feet. Doesn't sound good. A maiden girl. Oof. Jesus. Yeah, you know she's going to be powerful. <laughs> well, there's mind break. At this rate, probably. He'll get that back there, right? You said you can't die here, but... Yeah, I also feel like things probably like reset like that. Doesn't mean just not dying. You can uh, heal any injury and such as well. Maybe it's not exactly where we... There's grass here, so it's not exactly where we were in the last couple of episodes, but it really does look like the rock shaku stopped. Doesn't it? Not that there's much difference between rocks, but... <clears throat> I thought that was maybe a bit of the mental challenge in this, perhaps. Ouch. <laughs> I feel worse with the blade. What is Yoko meant to be doing here? Obviously it's to do with the fairy eyes, but not really understanding what she's meant to do here. <clears throat> Walk on more. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I guess she's got to concentrate and then walk on the water. I don't know. So oh, it is a girl? My bad. <laughs> Again, that's what... Yeah, <laughs> it's confusing. I think the subtitles last week said there was a he, but maybe the subtitles were just wrong. I think she did say Boku, but um, I guess you don't actually need to be a boy to say Boku. You 
can never be too careful <laughs> nowadays. So with that, does he does he have vision? What the fuck? We just got an Amogus right here. Um, yeah, as I was saying with the senior guy, does he lose his vision in his two eyes and then his vision goes to the ones in his arms? Is that why his eyes look so dark in that shot, or is he just that menacing looking? You can see out of all of his eyes. <laughs> A poor. <laughs> Oh wait, he's the one. Oh yeah, he's the one with the fairy. My bad. My bad. He's the one with the fairy eyes, not Yoko. So what's Yoko doing there? What's she tra actually training for? <laughs> Concentration, I guess. Oh really? He's got a twin. Oh, the reactions on that <laughs> literally slashed that a second after he left. Yamato. Unfortunate thing. Interesting. Still though, what do these eyes mean? Share their lives. Really? That, that sucks. <laughs> that kind of sucks. What's his brother up to now? Keep him safe. Well, Jinker's... Well, I say that, Jinker's fucking facing death a lot, so... I think... I think she said unfortunate there, actually. Okoda. I think that means unfortunate. Oh, is that them? Is this the fairy eyes? 
Is he able to like see like the aura of someone? How powerful they are? Yeah, I feel like that's like their aura, like power level and stuff. Okay. Nice bit of progress made by Jinka. He's got a brother out there somewhere. Again, surely that's terrible for him. If someone who hates Jinka just like finds out about it, the fact he's got a brother, find, finds out the fact that he's got fairy eyes, kill his brother, right? What the fuck? <laughs> oh fuck really oh shit oh actually we're in a pretty nice position right here Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh, wow. this really could have landed anywhere worse, but the way we landed, it's probably the best way we could have. I think I'm wrong. I don't want to kill a kid, <laughs> but you could use them as a hostage or a, like a getaway option if the dragon guy's near. So what the hell happened with shit and skate right that? <laughs> I don't get that. I'm going to have to look at it again. I think he just unlocked the powers of his sword a bit more. And it's like a little bit like Serpico sword from Berserk. A bit like wind sword it looks like. I'm not sure we saw much of any kind of anything like that when the other samurai was using it. I will rewind at the end of this though and uh, have a little rewatch of that. Because that was a very quick segment. In general, it was quite a quick bit of a training to them. I don't mind that too much. Uh, but in Bleach especially, it was quite annoying, honestly, just how long the training went on for. These training arcs. No one ever wants to spend ages on a training arc. Although I say that, like, Hunter Hunter had some brilliant kind of training arcs and stuff, so it depends if you do it well, I guess. Yeah, quite the fast-paced training here. Yeah, I'm just going to go back for a second and rewatch this Shinsuke deal here. Like, what clicked for him? Was it just the fact that he something he can't cut? Why this just seems like so stupid. <laughs> it's simple, right? Ah, I see. I missed that line. Maybe that, maybe that, maybe maybe that's the thing. More in more way of one. Maybe he says that like, I just have to get over it. Maybe maybe that's in relation to the Shaku stuff as well. Um, and I think perhaps in the fact that he's always doing these bloody swings and <laughs> always want to chop things down and such. Maybe it's the fact as well that he's learned that you, you can't you can't chop everything down. He can't use his uh, sword and can't slash everything down. He actually sometimes he's got to move over it. Perhaps, but um. Oh yeah, I guess he's got some again kind of Serbico kind of wind sword powers now. It's pretty cool. Very quickly done. Again, I'm looking forward to seeing Yoko how Yoko's goes next week. Like I said, I'm not really sure exactly what she's kind of training there. Um it's a little bit ambiguous for me anyway, or, or maybe I missed line of dialogue. But yeah, good episode in general today. Uh, again, some fun moments here, like the little prank we played, if you can call that a prank <laughs> earlier on in the in the episode, as well as learning a bit more about Yoko's mom. Um 
like these fairy eyes a little bit again that fully understand it but it looks like he can kind of see auras and maybe kind of read the fight better and read power levels and such pretty well jink and al so that should be uh that should be very handy uh but yeah nice little bit of backstory with um his brother as well and just a lot a lot covered today a lot of training a lot of backstory um just a, a really good episode in general absolutely fly by uh but yeah do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys would like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date i'll be back next week with episode 10 so i'll see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day guys